Weekend is here, isn't it? <laughs> um, my kids and grandkids come on Sunday for Sunday supper, and I love it. Um, so I need to try to start on the weekend preparing for it so I can have a good Sunday too. We go to church, and then John and I like to come home and take us a nice little nap and just really have a Sunday. But I love to have a good, my family's expecting this good country meal, and my grandbabies are always like, Grandma, what'd you make for, for dessert? <laughs> so, um, I thought I'd get started early this weekend and go on and make the cake for dessert. And I saw on one of my memories on Facebook, there was a 7-Up cake. I printed it off, and I thought, well, instead of just a memory, how about let's make it? Except I don't have 7-Up. I have Sprite, so I thought, well, that Sprite's even got the lemon-lime flavor, so I kind of like Sprite a little better, and so I thought I'd share it with y'all, and um, it's a real easy little cake, and a lot of times y'all want the recipe right off the bat, so I'm going to show you the ingredients. You've got a yellow cake mix, okay? Just a box yellow cake mix, then we're going to have a small box of lemon pudding. We're going to have three quarters a cup of canola oil or vegetable oil, whatever you want to use. And it calls for four eggs, except that my eggs, some of my girls are younger and they're laying, see the smaller egg, see this is one of my regular sized eggs and see this one, he's just a little smaller. So I'm gonna put about six in there, but it calls for four large eggs, okay? And I add a, table, a teaspoon of vanilla, because that just, Enhance, enhances the flavor and amps it up a little bit. And then the glaze will go straight onto that. It's going to be whole milk. And I'm gonna put a tablespoon of lime and a tablespoon of lemon, or maybe like a half of each, because it just called for one tablespoon of lemon, but we're gonna lemon lime it, because it's Sprite. And then it calls for two cups of powdered sugar, okay? So, um. Powdered sugar, two cups, and uh, that's about it. And we're gonna cook it in a bunt pan, and it says to just put nonstick cooking spray on there, but I've got this stuff, it's um, a baking spray, and it's got flour in it, and I love it. So I use that, but if you don't, a lot of times I don't, I just put some butter or some shortening all in there, and maybe a little sprinkling of flour and dust it around, and. Tap it out, you know, like put your flour like that around, and then you tap it out, and that butter or that shortening will have helped it get stuck in there, and that's that's the old time way, and I do that plenty, plenty. Yes, I do. Let me get my kitchen shears. All right, let's get started, y'all. We're going to do, and I've already taken pictures of all the ingredients, so I can do a picture post too. Start with our yellow cake mix. Put that in our mixer. And let's see, I'm going to put three quarters of a cup of vegetable oil. There we are. I'm going to get me a spatula real quick, y'all, so I can make sure I get all of that in there. Because that makes your cake moist, doesn't it? It does. And then we're going to do one small box of instant lemon pudding. In it goes. That's gonna make it nice and lemony. <laughs> My oldest son Blake loves a, a lemon cake. I used to buy one Brookshire's had, and it was a lemon bunt cake, and it was very very moist because I had a glaze on it. And so that's what we're gonna do too. We're gonna put this little lemon lime glaze. I'll just start cracking my eggs one at a time to make sure they have no shells and that they're good eggs. My girls always give me good eggs. Yes, they do. Like I say, the recipe calls for four large, but I'm doing six because I've got like small and medium large. <laughs> my girls are not full grown. Oh, I like to put my shell over in my, in my cake, y'all. That would not have been good, huh? We just fished it out. I'm going to wash my hands real quick to get the egg off of my hands. Find my towel. I think I have it all together, and I get on here with y'all. I'm like, where is everything? <laughs> oh, well. Okay, teaspoon of 
vanilla. This is my little addition. I always like, like to put extra eggs and a teaspoon of vanilla to um, just wake that box mix up. Just wake up, wake up, taste good. All right, let's see here. And now we do one and a half cups of the original recipe for 7-Up, but I'm doing Sprite. So this is a 12 ounce can. So that's gonna be one and a half cups, isn't it? We'll check them, we'll check them. Mm, it's right at it. Yeah, maybe with the um, fizz. That's what it is. All right, 12 ounce can of Sprite or 7-Up, whichever one you wanna do. And that's it. And I just got out my little hand mixer just for easy peasy. I'm gonna mix this for about two minutes, which is usually what you do with a tape mix. And I'll be back. I won't make y'all see here for two minutes to mix me. <laughs> Okay, y'all. It's been two minutes. Mmm. Ooh, nice and lemony. Very lemony. It's gonna be good. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna use my baking spray and put in my um my bunk pan. And I preheated my oven to 325. Is what it calls for, which is gonna be a slow bake, isn't it? Yeah, be nice and moist, huh? What happened to my spatula? There he is. He's hiding. Okay, y'all. I gotta remember to take a picture of this once I put it in my pan. Y'all gonna help me remember? I'm the world's worst about not remembering. That's that's rough. It's tough. Let me get all this in here. I always use a spatula. I don't like to waste any. And I watch cooking shows and they just pour it and they're just like, I'm like, oh my goodness. There's a quarter of the cake left in the, in the bowl. No, go back. So like, I like, I like to get it all, all the goody, don't y'all? I hope y'all got a decent weekend planned, even if it's just sitting at the house and doing nothing. I love those weekends, yes I do. Sort of your downtime, isn't it? See, I like to get all the goody out of there. <laughs> So very good. Okay, y'all. Looks good. I can smell the lemon in it. Let me get a picture. And we're gonna go into the oven. I always take umpteen pictures. And um, 325, and it says 45 minutes to 55, and I'm gonna do 45, and then I'm gonna check it. Let me set my alarm, please, or I will forget. Y'all are just be patient with me. There we go. And then I'll check it a little while later with a toothpick. And this thing is going to be so thick. For, you know, a toothpick's not going to go all the way to the bottom of that bunt pan. So I actually use these wooden skewers, you know. He'll be my he'll be my cake toothpick. So that's what I'll use today. Make sure it's done all the way in 45 minutes. Okay, now y'all ready to make the, the glaze? Let me see. Y'all are kind of leaning over. <laughs> Sorry, y'all was kind of just slowly doing that. Okay, y'all got me a bowl. And my glaze is gonna be two cups of powdered sugar. So we will get that first. Come here, powdered sugar. My kiddos come and they enjoy it as much as I do. I always dreamed of that growing up, like going to grandma's house on Sunday for supper. I don't know, it never happened in my family, but I said when I became a mama, I was gonna do it. So it's happening now, isn't it? <laughs> okay, that's one. Y'all help me count. Now I gotta take a picture, 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 picture. Or I'll forget. And when I forget, then I won't post a step-by-step -step picture. I'll say, well, maybe next time I won't film it and I'll do a step-by-step. -step. So, it'd be nice for me to get it all in one, wouldn't it? It'd be real, real nice. Okay, oh, picture. Picture, picture. I said that that many times and I was just about to forget it. 
I'm a sad soul, y'all. Two cups of powdered sugar. All right, now I got my picture. Okay, y'all. And I use this little butterfly um, chopping board. And somebody asked me on uh, one of my videos, where did I get this little butterfly? And I'll show y'all, it came in a set from Walmart, okay? And it's a Pioneer woman, and it came in a set. It had this one. It had this big one, and then it had this medium size, and then it had this butterfly, and it was wrapped up in a package like that. And you could see them all. Well, I didn't even care about this one. This one, I just wanted the butterfly, <laughs> which I knew so, but I just thought the butterfly was just darling. And so somebody asked about it, so just letting you know, Walmart's got the whole set, and I, it was under 20. It wasn't bad at all, so I said, that's pretty good for, my, for some chopping boards. I thought so. Okay, y'all, something else that really adds a lot more flavor than just the juice would be some zest. And what did I do? I did not hear. Here's my zester. Let me get it. Let me get it. There we go. So I'm going to zest just a bit. And when you zest, and I know I've said this before, just one time across your zester, okay? Because it takes you, it gets your nice color peel off, but it doesn't get any of that white. That white is bitter. It's bitter, yucky. Yucky and bitter, so. I won't do a ton, maybe just about half of it. Since we're doing lemon lime, huh? Stick that over in my, um, Powdered sugar here. Okay, and now I'm gonna do, it says one tablespoon altogether of the lemon juice. So let's see here, y'all. Let me do about a half of the, the lime. About a half a teaspoon down in there of the lime, okay? All right, gotta be easy, don't wanna make it too, too juicy, do we? Oh, yeah. Let me do some lemon. Just the same way. This is just a real quick little lemon pound cake, isn't it? Lemon lime. We're making him lemon lime. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Let me show y'all how much I'm doing. It's not much. Maybe about a half a teaspoon, okay? We'll put that over with my powdered sugar. And then we gotta do about a half a tablespoon of this lemon. And he is such a big lemon. I think he won't even go into the lemon squeezer till y'all see that. Oh my goodness, you are a big boy. So that's okay. I'll just watch for seeds. I say that, he's so big I can hardly squeeze on him. I'm squirting it everywhere but in my, my measuring spoon. All right, that's about a half. Now then, now we need, and it says milk, and so I had to buy this whole milk. John and I try to do 1%, 2%, just, you know, because the fat, the fat, you know. The older you get, two tablespoons of whole milk, okay? The older you get, you gotta watch your fat, don't you? I watch mine all right, all over me. I do, I do. Okay, y'all. Let's see, let me grab a little fork to kind of stir this with. And it looks like it's dry, 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 and you're like, oh my goodness, that is not gonna be enough juice, but you keep stirring and that powdered sugar dissolves on down in there, and it will surprise you, it will. Most times, anyway. <laughs> that looks like a big ball of the dough. Let's see, this is. See, he's just a little too thick, isn't he? So, I'm going to give him another little squirt of lemon. Yeah. And another little squirt of lime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean little. Because just that quickly you can get him too runny. But if you do... 
No, never fear, no biggie. We'll just put a little more powdered sugar. We'll just have tons of glaze, won't we? <laughs> and even with that, y'all, I'll tell you what I did wrong. I didn't sift my um, powdered sugar. I just got it straight out of there and it was packed up so it was a little more. And um, I should have sifted it, but. Oh, girl. Okay, that's just, I mean, the teeniest, tiniest little bit. A little too thick for putting on your cake. I'll put like a half teaspoon of milk. This is tedious, isn't it? I know it. Some of y'all have commented on my aprons that I wear and said, um, one of you told me it inspired you to get out your aprons, and I'm so happy about that. That makes me happy. I think that is going to be just perfect. And I, I wonder if y'all can see, can y'all see the little yellow and green specks of the zest? That is so pretty in there. I like that. I like it. I'm going to cover this with some plastic wrap so it'll stay moist. Yeah, that's going to be just perfect for running down over that cake, okay? And um, we're going to let that cake cook on, and I'm going to clean up my mess. And then I'm going to get the cake out and let it cool for just a little bit so it won't just melt this away, okay? I'm going to pour that on there. Let me grab my plastic wrap. I'm going to show y'all something about these aprons. Um, plastic wrap. Here we go. Okay, y'all, I'm going to grab, grab something that goes with these aprons that I love. Y'all are like, what is Amy up to now? Huh? I know. <laughs> I'm going to take y'all down later into my kingdom kitchen. John, like I said, he's got hunting season right around the corner, and I've had this candy kitchen over a year. <laughs> And so he's finally decided, he's been doing little along. He put me flooring, he put me walling, and we've gotten appliances. And um, so it's getting so close. I'm like, oh, baby, you think you could do it for this hunting season? Because once hunting season starts, I'm, I'm out, okay? <laughs> Which I get. He works so hard, and he deserves to hunt and do that. So he's out, he's been out there all day. And both my sons have actually been out there. And so I'll take y'all down there later, and I'm going to uh, show you what what we've done so far in there and some of my plans and I'm excited about it because I'll get to cook in it this fall and I just cannot wait. But what I was going to show you, we live here on the farm place that John's grandfather um, bought back in the early 1900s. He was born in 1905 and I think it was 1920 something. I actually had the deed when he bought the farm. And um, they, his grandmother had a canning kitchen, and that's the first I had ever seen of a canning kitchen. I thought, how wonderful, because you can make all your canning messes and have jars and everything, and then you're not having to scoot that out of the way and cook supper and everything, and how wonderful that would have been. And I wanted one for 25 years <laughs> since I saw it, and we were going to try to keep it, but it was uh, the foundation had fallen in. It was it had wooden floors. It was above ground. And we might would have been able to keep it, did we have it today? But at that time, we were having to clean up so much here, so many buildings. We hadn't built our home. We were trying to get his mom and daddy into a home. Uh, his grandfather's home had gotten in disrepair so bad. So we were a little overwhelmed. And so John just started taking buildings down, just taking it down, taking it down, because it would have taken a lot more to fix it back up than just to buy me another little storage building. We got it at Thomas Nursery, which I love. But um, anyway, in that canning kitchen of hers, I was like, let me run through there real quick, see if there's anything, you know, that needs to be saved. And I found a whole stack. Do y'all remember the sugar sacks and the flour sacks back when you'd buy it and it was literally fabric and material? I found a stack about like this. Well, in that shed had mice and rats all in it. And everything else was moth-eaten and rat and mice-eaten. But these were folded so nice and neat, and they had things stacked on top of them. So compact, I guess. Not one moth or mice or rat or nothing got on these, and I was just tickled. So my mother took them, and she made me this apron out of sugar and flour sacks and I just uh, adore it and she made me one other because I found some more and it's a different print and what was left over she made me little napkins 
And I love them, love them, love them. And I love one thing about it. And my mother, if y'all know her, she's like a little perfectionist. You know, she's got these hemmed up and this. She's got me buttons back here I can adjust. And y'all see this stitching she put here. I love it, the chevron. <laughs> but anyway, um, what was I, what was I about to tell y'all about it? Oh, I loved that it took John's family it came from John's family, and then my mother sewed it from my family, so it like brought both our families together with this um, apron. And I have another one she made me too out of another set of sugar and flour sacks I'll show y'all one time. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with y'all. Y'all commented, some of you, on my aprons and said you love them. And I love them too, and it's an old fashioned thing, but I just love them. And um, Addie, my granddaughter, does, and I gave her one that I had because she. She's like, Grandma, I want to wear an apron. So I'm hoping, you know, that she'll pick up on that and keep on. Um, but I have a lot of aprons that I'll share with y'all occasionally since y'all sparked or, you know, showed some interest in it because um, I love them and I love to share them with y'all. <laughs> but anyway, I'll see y'all back in a minute after I get all this cleaned up, cleaned up. I don't even see where I'm supposed to turn y'all off. I'm so messy and I'll be back. And we're still recording. Y'all hear my oven? He's talking at me. He says it's time. It's been 45 minutes at 325. I'm going to try with my with the skewer. Woo. It's just done, but it is done. I'll show y'all. He came out clean. See how he came out clean? He's got like a chrome on him, but no, no batter. That's what we're looking for. And I can tell it's just done. Oh my goodness, and I can tell how moist it is. It looks so good. <laughs> Y'all, it smells good too. Yes, it does. All right, y'all. I'm gonna sit this down here and I'm gonna let it cool for a few minutes, okay? And then I'll put him out on, I gotta go, I gotta go find something pretty to put him on, don't I? And then, then I gotta hide him till Sunday supper. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, y'all, it's been a few minutes. He's been cooling. He's kind of settled down in there. And I found this cake uh, stand that I got at Home Goods Store in Shreveport when Brittany and I went shopping together. And it's I've never used it, so I thought I'd use it. And it looks like kind of galvanized. Thought it'd be pretty, pretty for Sunday supper. But I'm not real sure about its um, surface and just leaving that cake sitting all weekend. So I think I'm gonna take some wax paper, just in case. I hate for it to chemically react or something, right? I don't know. It's pretty, but I don't, I don't just trust it straight down on there. So I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna put this under here. Just fold it in, kind of make a circle out of the square, huh? <laughs> And I can work on that later after I get my cake on there. Then I'm gonna put him down like that. That pan's still warm. Y'all now, let's pray that he's not gonna stick in our pan, huh? That pan's still a bit warm. Let me get him off of there. There we go. Yep. Now, what y'all think? Come on out of there, buddy. He's so hot, he's hard to pick up. I think he did. Whew. Let's see here. Yeah, so pretty, so pretty. Put that in my dishwater. All right. Yeah, isn't he pretty? Hmm. I can smell the lemon in him. Sure can. Yeah, that way I know nothing will go wrong with that surface of that pan or not. D. Nigert, if you're watching this, this is one of my galvanized pieces that you were talking about for, for uh, I started to say Ellick's wedding. <laughs> for Garrett's wedding and Olivia's. So, um, if you want to, we can use it. I've got several pieces of D and Ellick's sons, Marion. And um, he and my youngest son played together when they were little. We were together every evening. John and Elliot worked together at the chicken plant. So 
they were at our house every evening. Yeah, they were. Um, I don't know, he's kind of hot. I can't stand it. Let's drizzle. Let's do it. Let's do it. We can't stand it, babe. We're going to drizzle. <laughs> I got everybody on here with us. We're going to drizzle. Everybody on there with y'all. I made a Sprite cake. It's right. lemon and lime. Doesn't that sound good? That sounds awesome. I'm going to do that for Sunday supper. we got to hide it from ourselves till Sunday I supper. I guarantee baby. you better hide it from me. <laughs> Y'all see, I'm just drizzling back and forth like that. Trying to make him pretty. We Trying to. Do what, baby? We just about got you in business down there. Just about got me in business. Yeah. yeah. I've been telling everybody how you're working on my canning kitchen. Yes, I have. I've been telling them you got hunting season coming up, and you you decided you need to get me out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. 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 You might, huh? Yeah. Y'all, this is a ton of glaze, but that's okay. We like it. We will like it. He's going to be nice and moist come Sunday supper, isn't he, baby? Yes, he is. Isn't he pretty? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't put him on that galvanized tray. I didn't know how well that would do with cakes. Might pick up taste. Yeah, yeah. I'm so weird about that. <coughs> I'll, I'll be tasting the galvanized tray. <laughs> All right, y'all. Here he is. Pretty as you please. I'm going <laughs> to let him cool down before I put my lid, my dome on there. Yeah, he's going to fit. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good weekend.